Hey everybody, Scav Gaming here. I look stupid in this helmet. Welcome back to some HTC Vive. I can see myself on there. It just looks bizarre. Um, today I'm going to play some Vanishing Realms. Now, this is the game that I think is the best experience I've had so far in virtual reality, completely over the whole weekend. Um, and like three out of four of us in the family believe that's true as well. This is sinking down into my eyes. So I thought I'd show you guys this one specifically. I'm going to start a new game and I'm going to take you through hopefully the whole thing over the next two weeks or so, maybe, um, the next few episodes. Today I'm going to show you about 15 minutes of it, which is just how it starts, which is kind of the most impact. And um, yeah, so without further ado, I need to start a new character because I enjoyed this so much that I just wanted to get fully immersed and play through the game. So I've already played through it once. Now I'm going to create a new character, like I, uh, like I say, and I'm going to call it VR vid just so that everyone else who plays the game can can avoid that one so i'm going to create this one now it says click trigger here to start pardon me while i adjust myself <laughs> so here we go now you start off vanishing realms the right of steel now you got these cool little mushrooms on the floor now the idea is that you kind of stand within this area, you don't need to use the whole room space, but you can. Now I can move, click into aim, so I just do this, so I don't have to walk around so much. And you'd think it would be jarring, but it really isn't. It's actually very, very good. It's the best way to move around in VR games. I can pick stuff up with a trigger, and bang it in my bag. If I move over here, I can pull it back out, put it on here, because I have to. Just using the little grip trigger on the bottom there. I can pick stuff up and I can drop it with the grip as well. Now, if I read these, White darkness rules the Mithlands. We immortals are forever banished. Thus do we summon you here, Outlander, to seek our lost legacy. Yeah, it seems fair. An undead king now holds dark dominion over our sacred lands temple. Sacred island temple, he didn't say lands. Through long ages, this realm of the dead has he filled with stolen treasure and ancient magic. And we go on to the next one. Go forth now if you dare, into the heart of the temple. Walk I can't see where it was. Walk darkened halls, seek the undead king, drive him out forever. Do this, Outlander, and all you find in golden magic shall be yours. You can find magic. So I go in this cool little teleporter. And I have to say, guys, I know you guys can't see the way that I can, but this does look like you're in a dungeon. It's flipping mental. And looking down here does give you a sense that you're going to fall off. You don't want to move. Not when you're up here. Things get a lot worse than that, trust me. So, again, i got these two little orb things. I can take... I hate the way that moves down. It feels like you're rising. Say, and I can grab all this. And I can grab that as well. And then if I move around, I'll try not to do it too quickly. Otherwise, I may make you guys sick. <laughs> so I can grab this torch. I can go back in here, I can, like, set the torches off. I don't know if this does anything in all honesty, setting off these torches. I don't know what these guys are doing either. But there you go. Right, so, if I crack on with the dungeon, you can sort of hold it up and you can move it close to stuff and it gets dark and you move away. It makes it feel very realistic. Yeah, so... I can light all the torches as I go to make sure I can see. And we get another scroll! A gem, a chalice, buried deep silent watchers, undying sleep with crown of bones, rusted ring in darkness stirs. Forgotten king. Forgotten king! So, we set all these off. Alright buddy, you can't go this way, but you can have a quick look around, you know. You've got to explore the environment. Still nothing happening in there, is there? Now those red bits are gone now. It's a shame. Right. Now a bit of a spoiler, back there where I picked up that golden chalice, if you leave it, those red things turn it into a ruby chalice. And they're worth a bit. They are worth a bit. I didn't do that. I don't know why. I completely forgot that it happened. Boom! Right, so it's the whole idea is just to explore. Grab this key, chuck it in my bag, because I'll need that in a little bit. Hop up there. Grab some more shit, because I can. Hello. I just like lighting them. They don't really do anything. And you. Right, and now I need to use this key. So where is it? Here it is. 
boom. I'm getting the wool chaperone in front of me. I know you guys can't see it, but if I lean too far forward, I get a wool chaperone. Hello? Nice guy. So, clearly not welcome. Okay. <laughs> so, as you move around, you get a real sense. I know I can put things through bars. That's, it can't stop your hand moving. It ding, and it'd be weird if it just stopped itself. It's quite creepy, actually, because with the headset on, you can actually hear like the flickering of the fire and the wind going through the tunnels and stuff, and it can make a lot of... a lot of creepiness going on. So this is our first little kind of puzzle room, if you will. Now... Can't remember how to open the doors, in all honesty. I like that. I say open the doors. Now, there's another scrolly bit here. Bone feather potion red in altar set ablaze, burning wards of the dead ashes fall on sunless maze. So, other words, grab some stuff. <laughs> that doesn't feel that high actually, but it's a little bit worrying standing on it anyway. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. And I'm going to grab one of these as well. Nice. So, I've got to burn a few things in here. So, let's go this way first. Can't pick that up. Light all of the things. Because you can. So, I can't light any of this. It's a shame, actually. If you can set fire to a chair. That'd be nice. If you could set fire to the chairs, that'd be pretty sweet. Burn the whole flipping dungeon down. It's me! Anywho, so that's the undead king, I think. That's like a health potion, so I can keep hold of that. Put it in my consumables bag. Oh no, hang on. No, that's part of the puzzle. Later on, you can pick up red potions and stuff. Did I get everything? I think so. Right, so... With that done, I can burn these badasses. <laughs> oh, guys, that made me feel like I was going to fall. I'm not going to be able to pick that back up now. I'll grab another one. Ugh. Jarring. Okay. So. You've got to walk around things. It doesn't let you walk into stuff. Checkpoint. Saved. I'll grab another one of them. Chuck in my utility bag. That's consumables. Right, so I gotta get under this. Now, if I. Skelly! He's nice. I like that guy. Right. I'm gonna have to get down on the floor for this, so excuse me. Ain't it cool? <laughs> right, I got, I got some stuff I can collect under here as well. this a lock oh, I don't want to fall in there either what does this say this says I'm <laughs> gonna read this while on the floor brothers come seek me beyond sleeping white for secret once lost have one found or have I found the hammer we forged rings true by moonlight bringing gold beyond dreams from the ground or get out from under these big swinging they look like they're getting so close I'm going over here. Oh, so once you're out, you can get up off the floor. Go forth. This is a crazy place to be right now. Okay, right. Gonna get me torch back out. Because it does make things slightly more comfortable when you can see.
Right, here's our first enemy. Now, I don't really want to fight him with a torch. So, I'm going to go this way. It'll come out, but he won't follow me too far. They're pretty stupid, I've got to admit. I need to readjust myself after being on the floor. So this is a pretty cool place. Those cliffs do look very high. So that's one thing, unfortunately, that I can't get across to you guys, is just the scale of the environments. They can be truly amazing. So, gather strength upon these grounds, immortals. Trade steel for treasure found. So, that basically means come in, buy a sword. So I've got 462, so I can only go for this one at the moment. Those two, well, that one over there is only like 100, but that's for people who don't realise you can pick stuff up yet. Now, <laughs> this one in the middle is like a 1,000. I can't knock it off or anything, but I wish I could, because that would be cool. Right, and then you've got to practice it. So if I hit from this side, it gets blocked. If I hit from that side, it gets blocked. If I hit him on the head, it's another block, because this guy's flipping hard as shit. So move sword hand this far to strike. It basically is trying to say that if you just do this to someone, you're not going to do anything. You've got to swing it. Otherwise, it's kind of cheating. You could just hold it out and just let them walk into it. So you've got to be like that through the shielding and armor and stuff and then you'll be able to hit them now that's kind of cool because later on you could i mean the guys are so stupid you could literally just hold it at head height and let them walk into it forever so you've got to swing now i'll show you guys how the first combat goes oh hello have it ah! it kind of it does give you a good chance to deflect it Stab in the face because you bloody deserve it. Now, if I grab all these, now at any point, obviously, I can put this stuff away. So, as you get weapons of different types, you get a holster specifically for it. And that just kind of allows you to do shit that normally you wouldn't do. Now, what? I don't know where the key was. Where's the key? There is a key around here somewhere, right? Because I can't remember not being able to get in there. Have I already got a key? Probably not. Alright then, fair enough. No, none of this gold. I'm still going to set you on fire. Yeah, you do feel like you have to really avoid that big hole, otherwise you're going to fall to your grim death in real life. And that, that is what makes virtual reality very special, guys. There's the goddamn key. Now, here it is. First ruby chalice found. Now that is an absolute beauty. So, I found 11 in total when I went through the first time. God knows how many there really are, but I reckon there's probably loads more than I've got. Now, let's chuck these in the consumables. You can see how natural it feels to use VR. You can just sort of throw stuff around. You feel like this is where your hand should be. So chuck that in the item box. Anything in here? No? Anything underneath? Sometimes I hide some jewels. Up we go. Right. In we go to the big door. I knew that there was a key around here somewhere. Now, if I sometimes turn and then turn around the other way, it's because I don't want to wrap the cord up. And you have like a sixth sense about it. Some people do, anyway. I've seen people use it, which just clearly don't have a sixth sense about the cord at all. Yoink, found that. So these big ones give you plus 10 permanent health bonus, which is always nice. Now I'm going to grab my sword and I'm going to hack the crap out of these boxes. Ugh. Yeah, badass. That's why. So, grab all that. Three spoils. All the spoils. So, this is my second checkpoint. I'll take it to the next checkpoint because I know you guys are enjoying this so much. Now I'm just going to hop on these coffins. <laughs> I had another one of those moments. I'm too close to the edge. I'm going to fall. I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to fall. I'm standing in a room. Now, I think, actually, I'm a little close to this corner of the room. The chaperone will not go away. So, oh, right, yeah, I can see that I'm... I've moved some way. I've moved some way. Now I'm too close to this side. I don't even know where I am in the room. And that's a scary thought. Right. Oh, the water dropping, again, makes you feel like you're rising, and that, again, makes you feel really dodgy sometimes. It's not perfect yet. But it's very bloody close. Right. Let's grab some of this. Spores of War. Now, 
Let's pull that down. I'm gonna go over here. And I'm gonna steal from the dead because that's just the kind of guy I am. No remorse. I dropped my sword. I put it in there somehow by accident. Don't know why. Oh, I think I just stabbed someone in real life. I think it was a cat or something. Sorry, cat. If that was a cat, or it could just have been anybody, really. Right. Could have been anyone. People could be robbing my home right now and I wouldn't know about it. Because they're all like, This game's cool, man! Take the PC! Yo! Right. Healing Potion 100. Do I really want that? I got 570. I can afford it. You're never really low. I can't hold it because I've got something in my hand. Chuck it in there, it's consumable. Right, let's roll! Okay. Sometimes it does make you reach a little bit. Not like I'm going to be sick. But something's a little bit out of reach. And the cords. The cords, guys, is the only bad thing about it. They can be annoying. You do, like I say, you develop a sixth sense about it, but they can, they can get on your noggin. Where, how did you fit in there? I didn't open that the first time around. Right, you. Stabbed. Splatted. Ah, oh, you ain't getting away, buddy. Stabbed in the face because bam. It was not that easy to kill them when I came through the first time. So, take that, because you're badass. Oh, I thought I might have been able to get through both of them at the same time. I never really tried it. Yeah, I know. I've got an awesome style. <laughs> so... There's one over there. Well, I don't want to. Alright? I'm gonna loot the shit out of your castle. I'm not even sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Right. I can take that, because bam. I take anything else? Knock all them off, that'd be nice. Oh, hey! Right, coming in. I saw that coming. And that one. Right, coming in! Stabbed in the face. Uh, you're not going to beat me. See what I mean? You've got to really swing it, otherwise it doesn't do anything. So, even when he opens his mouth and accepts it wholeheartedly. So, uh, got that one. Now what? Where am I going from here? Get some more of this stuff, because loots. Because loots! Uh, I think that's it for this room, actually. It's only a little room. But it's the red chalice you're really looking for. can hear someone baffing away somewhere. Whoa, hey buddy! Take it easy. Jesus. Ugh. Oi! That's not nice! Oh, you little arsehole. Right, let's go. <laughs> I didn't know he could destroy them. He's not a bad shot either, in all honesty. You're not a bad shot, buddy. Moving, moving, moving. Right, so we need to get in here. You can't shoot me, can you? And look what we get! Gather strength upon these grounds. Immortals trade steel for a treasure found. A stalwart wooden shield. 200. I think I can afford 200. Let's grab one of them. Thank you very much. So, this way we go. Ooh, I'm upstairs all of a sudden. Let's grab some loots. Uh, 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 uh. Some of them do not want to break. And you see that without the the torch, actually. The place is pretty dark and dim. It's grim in here! I can't see anything, but I can see that. So I'm going to take it. That's my fourth ruby chalice. That's not bad, actually, for the first little bit there. Right. I don't want to step too close to the edge, because Buddy's going to shoot me in the face. Aren't you, Buddy? Ah, you cheeky sod! I felt like it was going to go in my arm. Whoa! Again! You nearly missed! You nearly hit me! Oi! Little sod! I'm having trouble with this now. Doesn't want to put me where I want to be. You gotta keep moving or he's gonna shoot me in the back. 
I'm twirling. You can't hit me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Again, one of their moments. Now, where's this cable? There you go. What? Ah, I'm going around this side. Now the cable's in my way again. Come on, then. Now I've got a shield. They pretty much can't do anything to me. These guys are so lame when it comes to fighting against shields. Yeah, you did, bad bear. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad to you. I can't reach it. Make me reach all the time. Right. Ha, ha. Stabbed in the face. Stabbed in the face again. Whoa, hello, you nearly got me then. Yeah, I'll go that side instead. Bad. You're bad at fighting. I can't hit you because I'm not swinging. There you go, I'll go that side. Right, let's grab all this. Batter the boxes, try not to get shot by the badass with the gun. It's not a gun, I know it's not a gun, it's a crossbow, but there you go. Actually, that's a good point though, you don't get a crossbow in the game. They do. They got crossbows all over the place. Why can't I take one of theirs? Oi! These guys, with the more health and the green eyes, are a bit harder. And you've got to stab through the top of their shield or you can't hit them because they don't open themselves up as often. Oi, you bugger, that was nearly my face. Bye! Off the edge. Cheerio! Have a nice trip. Right. Uh, I didn't get a single bit of loot out of all that. Hello! Ugh! That nearly went through! And that one! So, he's clearly... <laughs> that was really close. Right, I'm going to have to get down to him pretty quick. Oh, there! Right, usually I can just about nip down. Yeah, you let me... Ah! Come here! Off the edge. Bye! Yeah, he was he was just plain mean. So I'm gonna loot all this stuff, because loot's loot! Loot! Now the checkpoint! And we can buy a bow. <laughs> That's awesome! Guys, I'm going to leave it there because I've probably gone on way too long. Didn't even realise. I am. There I am. Guys, that's Vanishing Realms. It's by far the best experience I've had in virtual reality. You may not agree. You might not like the movement method, but actually it's it's way less it's way less stomach upsetting than uh, than moving fluidly without your legs moving. That that just feels horrible. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please click like and subscribe. And give me some feedback on the quality of the video because I'm still working on stuff. Hopefully it's good. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.